Hey guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about what do you mean by this calling statement in Java. Before I proceed with this video, make sure that you have seen my constructor overloading video. If you haven't watched my constructor overloading video, watching this video will be a waste of time. So you guys can understand this calling statement only when you know about constructor overloading. If you haven't watched still, watch it now and then please come to this video. So let's get started to talk about what do you mean by this calling statement. When I told about constructed overloading, if you guys remember the program which I wrote, so then I said that to call each constructor with a set of parameter, you need to create an object. To create three different constructor, you need to create three different objects. With a set of parameter, you need to call that particular constructor. If you have 10 different constructor in a particular program, you need to create 10 different objects. And then you need to call each particular constructor. And as you know that, each object creation will consume some memory in the heap memory. To overcome this, to overcome the memory utilization or memory wastage, we have come with this calling statement. Using this calling statement, even though in constructor overloading, if you have thousand constructor also, you can create a single object and with a single object creation, you can call all thousand constructor. How it is possible? I will tell you guys in brief when I will be writing the program. First, let us understand what are the rules that we need to follow if we are use, using this calling statement in Java. So this calling statement in Java, it is used to call from one constructor to the another constructor. This calling statement, it will call another constructor. From where it will call? From one of the constructor. From one of the constructor, it will call another constructor. And from that constructor, it will call another constructor. So this calling statement is used to call from one constructor to the another constructor. Now let's talk about what are the rules that we need to remember while utilizing this calling statement. This calling statement will always be the first statement in your constructor. Whenever you are writing any constructor, the first statement will always be your this calling statement. And in a particular constructor, there will always be only one this calling statement. And this calling statement we have to use only in the case of constructor. To be more precise, we have to use this calling statement only in the case of constructor overloading. Now let's write a program and understand how to use this calling statement. So let's say when I'm writing any program, my class name is sample. Let's say this is the opening of class. This is the closing of class. I'm creating constructors, one constructor, two constructor, three constructor. And this is my main method, public static void main string args, everything not explaining in detail this down all things because you guys already know this now now you know that this is this and all our constructor and because this is constructor overloading wheel program i have to specify with parameter i have to write the constructor with parameter in it now we know that to call any constructor we need to create an object so what i will do is i will create an object new sample and after creating an object i will pass parameter as 5.12 character a and then 5. you know that whenever we are creating an object it will call the constructor and since creating an object with a set of parameters called as double character and integer so it will call this particular constructor because this constructor is having parameters of double character and integer so it will fall under this it will call this particular constructor now what it will do whatever action you are performing inside that particular constructor now i have said you that this calling statement will help us to save the memory how because to call different constructor we don't have to create multiple objects with the same object creation i can call all the three constructor how now let's say this is called this this particular object creation is calling this particular constructor and i have said that this calling statement should always be the first statement in your constructor so i am writing this and i am calling this constructor 
how I'm calling? I'm passing parameters as 9.12 comma 5. Now what exactly we do inside that constructor? Once execution will come here in this particular method, immediately before falling to the second line or before coming to the second line, immediately it will go and call this particular constructor. Now in this particular constructor, I am printing this and then 5. Since it is my first statement in the constructor, it will immediately call this constructor. And let's say in this particular in this particular constructor, I am trying to print system.out.println hello. And in this particular constructor, after passing my this calling statement, I am printing software. And in this particular constructor, I am printing by MPT. Now I will tell you guys how the execution will take place. So as you know, execution will start from public static void main that is main method. Here you have created an object. Once you created an object, you created an object with a set of parameters. You gave double character and integer. So directly it will call this particular constructor because it is having a parameter of double character and integer. After coming here, immediately you are writing this calling statement with a set of parameter that is double and integer. So it will call this particular constructor which is having double and integer. Once after coming here, you are again calling this calling statement with a parameter of 5. Immediately it will call this particular constructor. After coming here, it will start printing hello. After that is done, it will print software, this particular constructor. And after that, it will come to this particular constructor that is by MKT. Now let's try to understand this program which I have written for you. If you see this program, this is the program which I have written to make you guys understand. This program is of the concept of constructor overloading. Now you will ask me how. Now if you see here, my class name is sample and I am creating multiple methods with same name as my class name that is sample. And these methods are nothing but constructor because you already know that if you remember if you have seen my constructor video so i am trying to create constructor and when you see it is parameters it means it is a constructor overloading program now to call different constructor within the same program earlier we used to create multiple object creation and with each object creation we used to call that particular method but whenever we are using this calling statement the main motive of using this calling statement is with a single object creation you can call n number of constructor how your execution will take place from main method that is public static void main and it is creating an object with a set of parameters that is integer and double immediately it will go and call this particular constructor it will come to this particular constructor your execution will start now before doing anything you are writing this calling statement within parameter 0.01 you are passing double parameter in this calling statement so what it will do before printing your hello statement it will directly call, call that constructor which is having a parameter of double so it will go and immediately call this particular constructor after calling this particular constructor before printing software testing by mkt i have written this 5 your 5 is nothing but your integer now this calling statement what it will do it will call the constructor with a parameter having integer in it so where is the constructor having a parameter as integer it is this constructor if you see this particular constructor here my first thing will execute is by after that, your execution will come again to this line. That is software testing by MKT. Because before that, your execution was here. And from which particular constructor your execution came to this constructor was this particular constructor. So after printing software testing by MKT, you, it will print hello. Now let's write a program and let's run and execute it and see the output to make you guys understand thoroughly. Hey guys, so this is a program which I have written to make you guys understand uh, about this calling statement. So this program is uh, nothing but um, yeah, this program is method overloading concept program. So if you see this program, I have created in class with a name as seven 
and i have created in constructor also with seven name so this is pretty this is nothing but seven is nothing but your constructor if you see here and i'm passing with parameters so any constructor with a parameter is called as constructor overloading so your execution will start from main method that is public static void main and it will start printing we love software testing and after that it will create an object and uh, with a parameter 0.98 that is your with a double parameter double data type parameter so immediately your it will invoke this particular constructor before printing this line it will call this calling statement so this in this calling statement what are you trying to do you are calling a particular constructor within have within parameter called as character and double so before printing this particular line immediately it will invoke a constructor within parameter of character and double so character and double it will invoke this particular constructor and remember here this this line didn't execute now it will execute later when i will tell you so when it will call this particular constructor when well, when it will invoke this particular constructor immediately it is calling again this calling statement when it is using this calling statement it is calling a constructor with a set of parameter having character double and integer so immediately it will call this particular constructor because param parameter of character double and integer when it will invoke this particular constructor your execution will take place from here and before doing any action it will again call this calling statement with an parameter of double and integer so it will invoke this constructor and then it will call it will again call this calling statement with a set of parameter called as one that is integer once it has called a constructor with an integer it will directly invoke this constructor and now before doing any action this calling statement without any parameter will invoke the constructor without any parameter so it will call this particular constructor and after calling this particular constructor since it has it has no this calling statement it it has directly it is want to print something that is my zero constructor it will get executed once that is done from which constructor this particular constructor got invoke your command will go there so it will call it will print this line that is my first constructor and after that it will print my second constructor and after that my third constructor similarly my fourth constructor and my fifth constructor so your final output will be we love software testing and after that my zero constructor and then my first constructor and then my second constructor my third constructor my fourth constructor and my fifth constructor now let's run this when i am trying to run this particular constructor first i am compiling it and then i am interpreting it when i interpreted i got the output i got the output as we love software testing my zero constructor my first constructor my second constructor my third constructor my fourth fourth constructor and my fifth constructor i hope whatever i have explained is clear to you guys i know this program is little tricky but uh, if you try to understand clearly you guys will understand it in case you have any doubt list out all your doubts in the comment section i will be clearing it for sure guys i hope this video was useful to you guys if you else give a big 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 thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mgd in case you have any doubt list out all your doubts in the comment section i will be answering have any suggestion to me put it out in the comment section i will be listening to you guys want to reach to me out i have added my gmail account core account and twitter account in the link description please check it out thank you